Perfect. We need to do everything. Chapter 4. I haven't started screen sharing. But you have the link to the board. Uh, screen share present now. A window. This one. Also, maybe. It's. Sir, our exam is on Wednesday. Today and tomorrow is the only two days I have. Really need this. Let's start. Uh, can you do this? This is exercise 4A. Uh, question 2. 4A question 2. Uh, use the formula. Can you zoom? One second, in fact, let me change what I'm sharing. Stop sharing, share, and a tab, and then I use this one, share. Okay. Hmm. Can you see it now? Uh -huh. I can. Okay. Uh, use the formula for sign. By a. the way, you must have already attempted this at school, right? No. Why not? I was studying for my other exam, remember? Okay. what I'm saying I didn't do it I really need this and cos a minus b use the formula and, and uh, then form. you must not have done the uh, questions of derivation of these formula as well uh, I did it off to a YouTube video Okay, so um, for this I just have to put sine a minus b divided by cos a minus b, right? It is equal to uh, Sin A minus B. What is the formula for this, sir? Uh, sin A minus B is equal to sin A cos B minus sin. cos A sin B. Sin A sin B. Sin no, what? Sin cos A sin B. Right? Hmm. Okay. Uh, divided by, I guess we'll have to turn this one into cos. Cos A minus B formula is cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. There is three formulas for this. So, I think you would have to do the one with plus one. Because there is plus one in the denominator. So, uh, let's do cos, turn into cos, something cos squared. What, what, which one is that? We'll just use the one cos A no, minus one. B one. Cos A minus B. What? No, no. Cos A minus B has three different formulas. Cos has three different formulas, right? So one of them is one plus cos square could or you, something. Could you check and tell me which formula you're talking about? I don't know. Can you go up? Can you zoom up? Can you go up? Uh, the... hmm. There are formulas. Hmm. Uh, go up to the formulas. Yeah. So cos a cos one cos minus b. Okay, still the same formula. Hmm. There's just one formula for cos a minus b. Uh, I guess it's for the other one then. 
double anger. Hmm. Okay. Should I keep it over here? Okay, so this is the formula that you need to copy. Cos A cos B plus sin S. But what do I need to get? I don't know that. What you need to get if you could write that on the concept board as well uh, would be easier for you to keep track of that. You have to you have to do derive the you have to derive the formula of tan A plus B, right? Tan A plus tan B over one minus tan A tan B. Is this what you have to derive, right? In this particular question. Something I need to get that, yeah. Tan A minus tan B. Yeah. So how can I do that? What if I divide all of it by cos, divide and multiply, all of it by cos B? Right? Mm, you'll have to think a bit more sophisticated than that. Okay, multiply, divide all of it with cos B cos A. Hmm. So divide both numerator and denominator with cos A cos B. Yeah, so uh, cos A cos B. So if I do that, what will I get? 1 so in, plus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, wait. That is in, this is in denominator. I mean. hmm. uh, 1 plus. Um, sin A, sin B, cos A, cos B is what? Tan A, tan B. How do you know that? Because sin A over cos A is tan A and sin B over oh, cos yeah, B is... Oh, we're dividing is... again. Mm. Okay, I forgot. Uh, tan A, sin... Tan A, tan B. And so here also it'll be tan A minus tan B. Hmm. That's it. Genius. Quickly, second one. I'm genius with a J. Uh, second. Okay. Um, second. I thought. Okay. By submitting, substituting A is equal to P and B is equal to Q. A is equal to P. B is equal to Minus Q and to additional addition formula of sign A was made. Show that sign P minus Q sign P. First, do the simply expand sine a. Plus now I just substitute no, and first, then I'll expand. Okay. You first, simply write sine a plus b, then expand using the formula of a plus b. I'll just rather do it this way. Uh, sine. What is sine p minus q formula? Wait, let me try. Let me try to do it myself without looking at the booklet. Uh, it will give me sin p into cos minus q cos minus q uh, plus minus minus cos p into uh, cos 
sin minus q. Right? Wrong. Okay, minus cos and minus sine instead of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait. If you're doing sine p minus q, it would simply be sine p cos q minus cos p sine q. Sine p cos q. Um, oh, yeah, why did I put minus? What? Okay. Co uh, cos. Oh, yeah, I know why. Because they turn me to substitute. So, okay. 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 Now what? 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 You have simply done sine p minus q. You haven't done anything with sine a plus b. How does sine a plus b become this? Because it's replace substitution. Look in the question. It says. That's what I was talking about. And I said substitution. A and b. P and minus Q. Did you get it? Did you get it? You have to use sine A plus B and using that you because this sine P minus Q is already given. You have simply copied the formula of sine P minus Q. You have done nothing with sine A plus B. Do I have to know? The question says that you have to do sin A plus B. Okay, okay, to sh show. Okay, 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 okay. So I will mean, do sin A cos B minus cos A sin B and then sub val then sin, yeah, and then I'll get this one. Right? Sine P cos minus Q. That's what I did, sir. It it's minus wrong. cos P sine minus Q. I did it. Wait. No. Sine of minus Q. I then, did it. I don't care. Then, then, then. Cos of minus Q is equal to? Cos of minus Q. Cos of minus Q is equal to uh, I don't know. Sine of minus cos of minus Q is equal to cos Q while sine of minus Q what did you do? Plus, plus, plus. Here it should have been plus because you were using formula of sine A plus B. Whatever, 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 whatever. Okay. Then cos minus Q is equal to cos Q. So this will stay sine P. So then this will become this? Cos Q. And sine minus q is minus sine q, so this will become minus cos p sine q. Because, okay. because you'll have to show that cos of minus q is equal to cos q, and sine of minus p or q, whichever, is equal to minus sine q. Okay. Okay, um, next is next is oh. how will you show that sine a plus b is not equal to sine a plus b is not equal to hmm. what do you mean? a student makes the mistake of thinking that sine a plus b is okay. sine a plus sine B. Uh -huh. Okay. So how can you disprove it? Sine uh, one plus uh, half. 
substitute a Uh, plus sign half okay uh, so sign one plus sign half is what so what is sign one sir so so sign one is zero point one seven Sign half. Sign half, sign half, sign half, sign half, sign okay. half. 8 into 10 raised to the power minus 3. Of course. Uh, yeah. Uh, and add both of them. Point. Zero to six. Yeah. Um. I put sign inside bracket one and a half. I mean one point five. Same thing. Zero point zero two six one seven. Then they are equal, sir. The formula is correct. Use it for sine 30 and sine 60. Well, how come just because it doesn't come for sine 30 and 60, then it's wrong. But it's correct for everything else. First do it, then I'll let you know why. Okay, then do it, sir. You are the one with the calculator. You calculator man. Sine 30 wow. plus 60 is sine 90. Sine 90 is 1. And sine 30 is 0 0.5. And sine 60 is 0 0.866. So if you add 1 by 2 plus root 3 by 2 uh -huh. you would, okay. So now what? 1 plus root 3 by 2 and there it's 1 so they won't be equal 1 plus root 3 by 2 what? Which one? Right side This is okay. 1 over 2 this is 1 over 2, this is root 3 over 2. Ah, uh, okay, so, okay, whatever, they're not equal. Okay, got it. How do you do 5? 5? Question 5. One second, I will tell you. I will tell you. Tell you. Okay, yeah. Five using the expansion of cost A minus B with A is equal to B is equal to uh theta uh, expansion of cos a minus b with a is equal to b is equal to theta show that sin squared plus cos squared is equal to one what you'll have to use the expansion of cos a plus b so first write the formula of cos a plus b Cos A uh, plus B or cos A minus, minus. B? Minus. Hmm. So it's, uh, I forgot, wait, it's sine A, uh, sine A, sine B minus cos A, cos B, right? Plus. So ah, yes, yeah, minus already. Minus formula. 
Yes. Okay. So after doing this, show the replace a with theta. A is you, equal to you'll have to write okay. both sides. You'll have to write both sides. Sine theta. Sine to theta. Sine theta into sine theta. A is theta, B is theta. So it would be sine theta into sine theta plus. Why cos other theta. side you not cos? Ah, uh, even that. Okay. Plus uh, cos theta into cos theta. And on the right hand side you will have is equal to cos theta minus theta. Okay. Okay. No way. Then on the left hand side you'll have sine squared theta plus cos squared theta and here you will have cos zero. Theta minus theta is zero. So this will be equal to one. So sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1 uh -huh. oh. okay alright uh, next one why is it 0 why is what 0 theta minus Theta minus theta, A is theta, B is theta. So A minus B would be theta minus theta, which is zero. Anything minus itself is zero? Let's assume. <laughs> okay. Uh, six. Uh, A. Six, A. You use the expansion of sine A to show that. Use expansion of sine A. Okay, show us that. Okay, so I just replace it with. Okay. Up here. So sine pi bar 2 is 1. So what's left would be cos theta minus cos pi bar 2 is 0. So multiplied with that it will become 0. So answer would be cos theta. Wow. wow. That's my voice. Okay. Next one quickly. Correct. Correct. Next one, next one. Which one is next? Six B. Six B. Uh, use the okay. Right. Use the expansion of cos a co, uh, cos a minus b to show that. Uh, I can't. The formula is cos. The uh, formula is sine. 5 by 2 uh, into sine 
थीटा माइनस साइन कॉस बाय बाय टू वुड इट बी माइनस प्लस ओह माय गॉड कॉस थीटा ओके आह so is equal to sine theta we have to show so this is one you said right so one sine theta you said this was zero so zero cos it's zero and it's one are you sure mm, sine pi over two is one cos pi over two is zero sine ninety is one cos ninety is zero uh, Yes. So, the answer is this. Hmm. Sine theta remains. That's the answer. Okay. Next one quickly. Seven. Right. Right. Sine x in the form. Uh huh. Sine. X cos pi by six plus cos x and sine pi by six. Uh huh. So this cos pi by six is how much? Cos pi by six is I don't know. Cos thirty. Root three by two. So root three by two sine x plus, plus what? Uh, sine how much? Sine thirty. Yes, sine pi by six, sine thirty. That's half. So p is half and q. I mean, p is root three by two and half is q. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay. Um. Uh, next. Right. Cos. Uh, just leave this, please. Uh. Next. Okay. So the first one, which formula is it? First one is the sine uh, a plus b formula. And a is fifteen and b is twenty. Twenty. Yeah. So sine fifteen plus twenty is sine thirty-five, and sine thirty-five is. Yeah, calculate. Zero point five seven. Okay. Yes. Uh, next one. Just give me in the we... final form of uh like sine. Yeah. Okay. Sine. Thing. A fifty eight minus twenty three. Would it be okay. sine? Ah uh, yeah, it will. Sine fifty eight minus twenty three is how much? Sine thirty five again. Hmm. Next. Ah, uh, this would be. But how can this be anything? Is it sine cos, come first? Cos for cos, cos sine yeah. sine. But for cos doesn't it's this is supposed to be the cos formula, but for cos doesn't sine usually come first? Mm, not necessarily. But I mean for cos this because is cos usually minus. sine sine comes first so that you can minus the other side which is cos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So for cos a plus b, you will have cos cos minus sine sine. And for cos a minus b, you will have cos cos plus sine sine. Yeah, I for, know that. It's in the formula. It's cos cos. Okay, I thought it was sine sine. Then cos cos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, then yeah, cos uh thirty plus eighty. Uh, d. Uh, thirty plus eighty would yes go ahead. Tan tan seventy six uh plus twenty five. Minus forty-five. Minus forty-five. Oh my God. Okay. Cos two theta plus theta 
cos 3 theta for f it's cos 2 cos theta minus theta minus f oh yeah okay cos 4 theta uh plus cos 7 theta hmm. uh sin theta cos theta cos theta sin theta uh sin theta by 2 plus 5 theta by 2 uh h would be tan 2 theta plus uh, 3 theta so i would be sin uh, a plus b minus b so sin a uh, cos uh, j would be uh, 3x plus 2y minus 3 uh, this cos 3x plus 2y plus 3x minus 2y by 2 hmm. both divided by 2 hmm. yeah. so 2y's would cancel out you'll have 3x plus 3x uh, which is 6x by 2 so it will be cos 3x final yeah okay okay okay, okay. Hmm. 10 10 okay use the addition formula for sine or cosine to write down the following as a single trigonometric function okay 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 it's addition formula for sine what what does this mean Use the addition formula for sine or cosine to each to write each of the following as a single trigonometric function. Hmm. You'll have to reduce this whole thing to sine x or cos x, sine x plus theta or cos x plus theta. Sin x plus theta cos x plus theta. Theta would be something like pi by 4, pi by 2, something like that. Can you do the first one? Sure, let me try. Um, hmm. Okay, so what have I got over here? Uh, 1 by root 2. 1 by root 2 what else uh, 1 by root 2 sin x plus cos x uh, sin x plus cos x uh, 1 by root 2 is equal to what in terms of sin terms of sine what is 1 by root 2 hmm. uh, in terms of sine what is 1 by root 2 uh, okay let's see if I simply expand this thing it will become uh, root 2 sine x by root 2 plus cos x by root 2 right sine x by or 1 by root 2 sine x plus 1 by root 2 cos x agreed yes okay 1 by root 2 in terms of sine is sine pi by 4 and cos pi by 4 okay so for that uh, final answer should be in word form what do you say what is 1 by root 2 sin x in this step, I've simply expanded, so I've multiplied it with this, and I've multiplied it with this. And then what? The other thing I'm saying is that I know um, 1 by root 2 is equal to sine pi by 4. Also, 1 by root 2 is equal to cos pi by 4. Uh-huh. Okay, so I can replace this one and this one with cos and sine. 
the thing is that I need the final answer in the form of uh, in the form of what in what form do I need the final answer cos either sin x plus theta or cos x plus theta sin x sin x plus theta can you do it can you do it can you mm -hmm. do it mm -hmm. okay so here what would it become uh, if I make Hmm. If I rewrite this thing as uh, half root 2, I write it as okay. I am just uh, replacing these in the way, for example, 1 by root 2 cos x plus 1 by root 2 sin x. Okay, and then this 1 by root 2 I can write as sin pi by 4. You just switched for no reason. Uh, I'll tell you the reason. Okay. Because I, for sine a plus b, I need it in the form sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. So this one over root two, I wanted this to replace with sine. Okay. So one over root two is what? sin x cos theta i have to give it in the form sin x plus theta x plus uh, theta i, I, I could have I, yeah. I could have uh, kept it written like that it wouldn't have made a difference it wouldn't have made a difference okay, okay. sin pi by 4 cos x plus ha, 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 cos ha. pi by 4 but how did it become this because 1 by root 2 i told you it's equal to sin pi by 4 or oh, I can I have to unzoom okay and this is also equal to cos pi by 4 yes but how do we know that calculator uh, yes we do sin inverse and cos inverse of 1 by root 2 okay okay so this will give me sin pi by 4 plus x so in case of sine, it doesn't make a difference if it's pi by 4 plus x or x plus pi by 4. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. So this is for x plus pi by 4. If I want to write the same thing, if I want to write the same identity as in terms of cos. So in terms of cos, so in this particular step, instead of replacing it with sine pi by 4, uh, I will make it I will make it uh, the first one 1 by root 2 as cos pi by 4 so I will have cos pi by 4 cos x plus sine pi by 4 sine x Okay, so this will give me what? Just keep x in the first. So this. Why will did you re do this again? How did you do this again? Okay, I'll redo this whole thing. Now, how did you make this thing that you boxed up into this thing white thing, the first white thing? sin pi by 4 and cos pi by 4 they are both equal to 1 by root 2 uh, so if I want to turn this thing into a sine formula I'll use this step and if I want to turn the same thing into cos formula I'll use this step the second one uh, okay okay yeah. and remember to keep the x first so um yep yeah sure uh so let because me you have to show it as cos plus minus theta so this okay, will, one this will become cos x minus pi by 4 okay. uh let's give b a go first okay i guess b b and c uh, just what is uh cross i mean what is half 
That, this is what I used. That's what I was talking about when I said. Let me show you again. Let me show you again. For cos formula, cos comes first. Yeah, yeah, I understood. You said that it works. I don't know. You said that my thing is wrong. Because I, I did that and I got the right answer. What you did it for the, for the plus one. You did it for the plus one. I didn't interrupt you over there because it wouldn't matter if you put sign first or cos first in plus one but better yeah. remember cos is cos first yeah. okay because otherwise you'll mess up the minus formula okay uh, so here it would be cos x then I cos pi by four i guess but then how would that i mean cos pi by four is same as sine I mean, can I just enter switch these? Hmm? Can you do what? Just switch these. Like where they are. Mm, D. Sign. Yes, you can. That you can do. That you can do. For a term AB, you can write it as BA. That is not a problem. Okay. But A minus B is not equal to b minus a it will have to be minus b plus a okay okay done god 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 so yes this thing becomes sine x minus pi by four all right all Erite, all erite. Okay. Eleven. Eleven. Given that cos y is equal to sine x plus y, show that tan y is equal to sec minus tan x. Uh -huh. What date is it today? Islamic calendar? 25th. I don't know. Mm, cos y is equal to sine x plus y. Okay. So, cos y is equal to sine x cos mm -hmm. sine y. X. Okay. Okay. Cos x cos y plus cos x sine y. Um, so if I divide all of this with uh, divide and I don't know what I'm saying. Divide by cos and multiply by sine. So no. divide by cos square and multiply with sine. Is that a thing? Can you do that? Divide with cos square and multiply by sine. Cos square and multiply by sine. Whatever you do, you'll have to do on the both sides of the equation, but remember what you have to get as a result. You have to get 10 y. Uh -huh. So, I cut this and I said sine, so sine y as well. So tan y is equal to, if I'm doing that, uh, what sine. Did you do on the left hand side, you divide with cos y and cos y. squared y and multiply with sine y. Okay. So if I do that here as well, if I do it by the cos square y, become cos alone, the bottom, and sine x sine x divided by I mean sine x into sine y then I guess right by by cos y plus Oh, this wouldn't work. Hmm. 
Okay. Uh, so I would restart from the e start. Uh, so cos y. What can I do to cos y to make it tan y? Let me think of that first. Then maybe I can use everything else. Uh, okay. To convert it into tan y, I will have to multiply. Uh, but I if you don't to... convert it with tan y, see all the values that you need to get. You need a sec. You need a tan x and you need a tan y. So yeah, for... so so for the cos y, how do I turn this cos y into tan y? That's what I'm trying to find. You out. can convert this one into tan y, this sine y. <sighs> okay, so I just divide it by cos square, right? So divide whole thing with cos y. This will be one. This will be sin x and this will be tan y. Cos y. Okay, cos y. Uh, what will happen is this will be one you said, this one will be sin x and this one will be tan y. Tan y? How? Because sin y by cos y would be tan y cos x into tan y yeah that right. tan y cos x okay. okay now you have to get rid of this cos x so if you multi divide whole thing with cos x cos now x. so cos x this one will become tan so this one becomes sec x, this one will be tan x, this one will be tan y. And I rearrange and I get that answer. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Next one, please. Next to one, next to one, next one. Given that tan x minus y is equal to three x when tan y times of tan x. Tan x minus tan y is equal to three. What? You have this tan x minus y is equal to 3. You expand tan on the left hand side and then you isolate tan y or you make tan y the subject. Okay, okay, so just give me the formula, please. I don't know this one formula. For tan x minus y, it is uh, tan x minus tan y. Let me guess, tan x minus tan y divided by 1 minus tan x plus tan y. 1 plus tan x tan y. Tan x tan y. This is equal to? 3. So, then I multiply the denominator with 3. Tan x minus tan tan y is equal to 3 plus 3 tan x tan y and then uh, uh, put it in the what what to do 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 what to do? What to do, sir? Be honest. Honest. Wait, 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 wait. I know what to do. I have to express in terms of tan y, okay? I'm stupid. Uh, tan y uh, is equal to 3 plus tan, uh, tan x, tan y, and so on. Tan y 
minus 3 minus 10 x 10 minus this is minus 10 x again right so then plus 10 x right so that means this and this will get cut no no yeah i don't know this is minus 10x, this positive 10x came over here, it became minus 10x. And you see there's a negative here. So then that negative I turned into positive, so every sign changed. But with this 10x, 10y, plus 10x, okay, but this 10x is multiplying to this 10y, how did you get it? Yeah, 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 I said it's wrong. Especially because it's... Yeah, is this it or what? Is there more? Oh, I have to take the tan y to the other side, right? You have to make tan y the subject. So all tan y's they must be at one side. Yeah. Uh, uh, so let me. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Tan x minus tan y over 1 plus tan x tan y. Till third point, it's correct. Let's see what we can do after that one. Okay, so tan x minus tan y. Tan x minus tan y is equal to three plus three tan x tan y. So mm -hmm. if I make three go to this side, so it becomes tan x minus three. Tan x minus three is equal to. 3 tan x tan y plus tan y and then I have tan x minus 3 is equal to tan y common 3 tan x plus 1 so this gives me tan y is equal to tan x minus 3 over 3 tan x plus 1. God damn it! You're just lucky on tan x. Hmm. Hmm. Guess it's a national thing these days. <laughs> <laughs> it's all luck. <laughs> What are you talking about? I don't know. No uh, idea. No okay. idea. Uh, 13, please. It's right. time for my next class, but until that kid shows up, we can. Okay. Uh, Given that sin x cos is equal to find value. Okay. And here he is. Okay. Could you attempt these 13, 14, 15, 16 as homework? And then we'll inshallah. But I have to get all of these done by day after. Uh, at least finish these today so that tomorrow we start next exercise. You have got the answers to check your solutions with, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. If you get stuck over anyone, then we can discuss that. But uh, you have seen that uh, the logic behind all these, we have already covered those. Yeah, there is uh, four more exercises, by the way. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow we will try to start early and I mean I couldn't start early today because of a hospital appointment but tomorrow mm. inshallah hopefully we'll be able to start earlier uh, so day before yesterday uh, is, uh, I mean yesterday we uh, ended half an hour early right yesterday we just did just one hour like today yeah mm. so 
can we just do that half an hour? Because math we were supposed to do half an hour, half an hour. We'll do two hours today, and uh, I mean we'll keep take stock of whatever how many how much hours we have done at the end of the. Uh, I need week. more time. That's what I'm saying. Hmm. Hmm. Tomorrow, inshallah, we'll try to do two hours. Alright. Okay. At least. Okay. Okay. See you tomorrow. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam.